Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we're back in West Country. Okay, yep, we've been abroad, we've been in France for a couple of episodes, but we're now back in West Country where we feel nice, safe and secure. We know what we're doing in West Country, don't we? There's no unexpected surprises. However, today we've got this brand new livery by Callum Chili in this gorgeous, if we just zoom in there, you'll see First West Country with luxurious leather seating, plenty of space for legs and bags, and free Wi-Fi. There you go. Coastlink. It's branded, quick, comfy, and direct between the city and the sea. Uh, I don't know if Totnes is counting as a city, uh, but Paynton is obviously counting as the sea. Now, uh, yeah, this is branded for the Route 35. I know we've been using a lot of um, Callum Chili's repents recently, because I like them. I think they're good. And uh, today we have got this fantastic repaint, which is for the 35 via Berry Pomeroy, Thornford Regis and Maident, Midant, and uh, Totnes. There we go, with the X35. With uh, It's quite a nice little branding. I don't know if this takes inspiration from a real-life route, but you can see we've got the, uh, the route map above the door there. I realise this is quite difficult because this is in the way. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of get the gist, can't you? Uh, very nice repaint indeed. If we have a look inside, you'll see we've got the spec with the Lazzarini high back seating. We've got uh, Welcome Aboard Coast Link from First West Country and uh, Wood Fleck Flooring. It does look like the standard seating from First Group at the moment, doesn't it? We can put these, uh, put these seats down. Uh, it does look like it's been done out though. This is nice, isn't it? The Fab Days Out Link. Uh, however, it does appear uh, that it's got the old Devon. Uh, buses on there. That would be nicer uh, if that particular picture was using these MMCs. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? But apart from that, it's awesome. We've got the route map on the stairs. I hadn't noticed that. Hang on. Can we go upstairs and see it? There we go. Look. Totnes all the way down. If he's come up with this branding himself, this is absolutely fantastic. The first in the background. This is really, really nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, obviously you know that my AI list has been changed. I've been mucking about with it. And uh, the map has indeed changed as well. I'm just realising we need to uh, we need to get moving because it's nearly time for departure. Yeah, the map has been changed. We've got static buses here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Apparently the map has been changed also, so cars should not be driving into the bus station. That might still happen from time to time, but uh, Iomex has assured me uh, that he is taking steps to make sure that does not happen. There's a couple of other bug fixes and uh, other improvements across the map as well, and uh, I shall leave you to spot them as we go along. But yeah, we're using the 10.9 version, 10.9 uh, meter version, sorry, of the Enviro 400 today. There we go, bus is on. And it is the ZF version, uh, which is nice. Oh, I like this lot. Look, we've even got a first login card. We've got the Enviro 200 with the Bristol. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. I love that. It's not working. Why Why can we not click this card? Oh, because that's there. Okay, fair dues. Login. Uh, pin 9810. Lovely. We've got the movable, uh, movable ticketer, of course, because this is a Studio Polygon bus. Awesome. Right, I think we're more or less ready to go. Let's stick a few lights on inside. We've got this nice tinted glass upstairs, which I do believe is a set fire as well, possibly. Maybe he's just done that on the repaint. I don't know. Uh, obviously, it's not tinted around the driver's windows because we need to be able to see it. There we go. Oh, we are off. Oh, I think we're going to run the uh, we're going to run the bus station over. Nah, of course we're not. Right, there we go. Handbrake on. We'll go right the way around. Careful not to clamp the uh, or clout the bus station with the back of the bus. We can easily get round in one. It's a dinky little bus, is this one, isn't it? Well, apart from the fact it's completely not, but uh, yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely dinky. Right, it's only 10.9 meters, isn't it? It's practically an Optair Solo, just a little bit taller. Right, let's have a. You know, I love a good screenshot, so let's let's have a, a nice shot there. We'll get the mouse out of the way. There we go. We'll pause the game for a second and uh, and just line up. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's beautiful. A little bit in the shadow there. Maybe we can get a better one en route. Right. Now, let's just see. I always struggle with operating the destination on this thing. Uh, right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 
Let's go Totnes Trade Estate. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's not going up and down. It's not moving. Have we got a... Oh, have we got a list here? Uh, hang on. 35 doesn't seem to be working. Right, okay. We'll just type it in. No, nope, not 365. The 35. Uh, Totnes Town Centre. Painting. There we go. And what's the thing in there? Oh, that's 029. Oh, it's working. Oh, hang on. There we go. Right, we're, we're back. We're back. Right, let's get around. We're taking this quite wide, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We are off, right, back on it. 1.4 minutes until departure, but that's absolutely fine. I think we've done pretty well for time in there, haven't we? I promise uh, this was all completely off the cuff when I started. Christ, this bus. I love it. It sounds like it's going to absolutely drop to bits, doesn't it? Listen to the panel rattle on this. Absolutely awesome. There we go. Right, we'll stop there. Sorry, mister, I know you were queuing. Oh, we've got stop start, flippy neck. Right, child single. And you paid exact, thank you. Adult single 240, 250, 60. The, uh, the added bonus for driving this bus, of course, rather than the street light, which I do like the street light, don't get me wrong. But the added bonus of driving this is the fact the cash drawer is laid out nice and neat. Look at that, the street light, sometimes it can be a little difficult because you're not quite sure where to look for your money. And uh, I don't believe it has two pound coins, maybe it does. Maybe that's the eclipse I'm thinking of, uh, but they always moan that you're giving them too many coins. There we go, that's fantastic. We're ready to go, we're raring. This really is a pretty livery, isn't it? Ooh, hang on, we're in somebody's house. There we go, look at that. I mean, I'm going to have a... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to have a fit by the sounds of things. I'm going to have a nice picture of that by the bus stop. Uh, now, at this moment in time... Uh, I do not believe that this livery is currently available. I mean, he sent me this a few days ago, so maybe because it's taken me a little bit long to uh, to get a video sorted, maybe, uh, maybe he's already released it, I don't know. Uh, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description, but if I forget, which, I mean, let's face it, is more than likely. For those of you that have been here before, you'll know exactly, uh, exactly what I'm like for forgetting. Uh, of course, it should be found on the Fellows Film website, which uh, you can find the link to the map, in the description and uh, fellows film is where the map is on so there you go there's a link to fellows film in the description indirectly from the map brilliant we're hey smashing right ready for departure so let's get those doors shut and uh, we are off we've got the engine back on oh oh yes of course you have to break in the mmc there we go we're just going to pull out in front of this person it's fine they don't mind I mean, personally, I don't quite know which one I prefer, in all honesty. I don't know if I prefer the ZF version. Yes, I don't know if I prefer the Voith version. They are both absolutely fantastic, and the sounds are ace on this. Uh, there's a link in the description, of course, to uh, to this pack. It costs you some monies on the internet. You can get it through Steam. Uh, there we go. 250, 60. Brilliant. Uh, 240, yeah, 760 change, 750, 60, smash it, there we go, break down, and off we go. Yeah, they both sound absolutely fantastic, and since the update a couple of months back, it's a pleasure to drive, the frame rate is so much better uh, than it was. It really, really is good. This is one of Studio Polygon's finer releases. I mean, to be fair, they've got the streetlight and the uh, Next stop. and the MMC, but what you've got to remember, of course, is they're both very different buses. You know, so you can't really compare them. They're both incredibly realistic with an absolute ton of features. So, um, yeah, you can't really compare it. It would be unfair for me to say which was better out of the two, really, because they're just so different. Um, but I do like the MMC as my favourite double-decker. This is definitely, out of all the double-deckers, this is head and shoulders above the rest. It really is. There we go. And break on. And I think I've said that in a few episodes, actually. If you are, are a few of the previous videos I've done, I'll stand by what I say. This is my favourite double-decker for this game. It really, really is. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, 
I don't know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer voice or ZF? Obviously, the first tend to have uh, ZF versions rather than voice. I know there'll probably be some exceptions to that rule, depending on what area of the country it's been ordered in. Uh, and Stagecoach tend to have voice over... Uh, oh, hang on, child return, one night of change, 50, 70, 90. Thank you, love. 240, 760, 50, 60. Lovely, thank you. 240, 50, 60. Brilliant, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Uh, 160. We actually, um, we went on a trip yesterday, actually, as it happens, which is why, uh, if you are wondering, oh no, it's not yesterday, hang on, I can't remember what days I've recorded these, but yeah, we did go on a little trip, uh, on Monday, this Monday that's just gone, down yes, to the so pottery, I took my camera and got a whole four photos, because we spent more time riding, uh, on the buses and photographing, but it's really, really nice to get back out on the buses again. Uh, something that it's quite difficult isn't it finding time with doing work with doing YouTube you know it's quite difficult to actually find time to go out and ride on real life buses but uh, I did go down to the potteries with uh, Reverse Idol from Studio Polygon we had a fantastic day weirdly enough we didn't ride on any street lights we didn't go on a single one you'd have thought um, you'd have thought we'd have absolutely been on uh, street lights with Reverse Idol wouldn't we given that he is the author of the street light for Studio Polygon but alas, not. We got on quite a few good things, though. We got on uh, an ex-Manchester MX-06 Eclipse Urban. That was fantastic. Uh, ZF was quite quiet on it, but uh, I think he's... Oh, no, he's not quiet a bit with his lorry. Close enough, though. Oof, live flash before my eyes. Um, yeah, a, uh, we got on that. We got on a Scania Omni City, a single-decker version. Uh, branded... Oh, no, it wasn't branded. It was uh, one of the 6.5... 650, I think the uh, the fleet numbers are. I can't remember in all honesty, but uh, yeah, one of the Scania Omni City single deckers. Whoa, hang on. Sorry, we nearly went through the window there, didn't we? One of them. That was brilliant. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Enviro 200 MMC. Yeah, okay. I don't really like them. Um, however, it has to be said, and there's no getting away from it, these Lazzarini high back seatings are so comfortable. Perhaps not these ones. Or these ones, but because these are on the back. But hang on, I appear to be inside someone. These seats here, they're so squishy. They've got really nice padding. Uh, so that is a nice feature of the Enviro 200 MMC. We got on a Scania Solar, uh, a Dennis Dart Enviro. That was absolutely brilliant. I think it were a DK57 plate. Yeah, it was. DK57 SPZ. We need a good Enviro 200 for OMSI. And when I say a good Enviro 200, I mean something that's either Master Switch or Studio Polygon quality. Because uh, the Enviro 200 that came with uh, Add-on London is not the best. You know, it, it'll do as a stopgap, but it's not the best, is it? Let's face it. Right, there we go. I mean, I'm sure they said they were doing a regional variant for that bus at some point, which uh, has never materialised. Maybe I got that wrong, I don't know. Come on then, bus. Oh, listen to that. It sounds fantastic. Absolutely sounds brilliant, doesn't Next it? Next stop, Whitehaven Road. Oh, it doesn't rev as much as I thought it would. Come on, we're, we're struggling. <laughs> Between 25 and struggling up the hill. Maybe this bus is not the best to have branded for this route big hilly route and you've picked a bus with no power Joe, that's exactly what you've done there we go, we can easily make it round this corner, I think uh, we've got another one coming the other way there, look at him oh hang on, what's happened here has, has something gone wrong I think something has gone wrong maybe the bus in front has broken down Oh dear, this is, uh, this is quite a collection of, uh, of Enviros here. Now, what could have happened... Hang on, let's try and get a... Yeah, we, we appear to be stuck. Hmm. Yeah. Now, what could have happened here, and we're not ruling this out, is... Um, because that bus is stuck as well. Um, seems to be the case. Right, we shall... Uh, we'll get this shut. 
and we'll just carry on regardless. What that means is that there's not going to be any AI 35s for the rest of the video because they're all stuck here. Now, obviously, I, I Omex has sent me a beta version of the new updated map, hence why, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of massive changes, but there is still changes. Maybe that is just a bug uh, that they do Next get stuck at, uh, at that road whose name has just escaped me. Uh, but I'm sure he'll watch the video and I'm sure he'll see that for himself. Maybe it's just a bug. I'm sure it's nothing I've done wrong with the AI list because it's been, you know, you've seen a few videos of this. And it's been working perfectly fine, so uh, maybe it's me that broke it, who knows. There we go, you'll see the uh, the car overtaking me because it's a slow bus. The good thing with this being a, a quite a slow bus, however, is uh, it'll take me a bit longer to get from, uh, you know, on this section between the towns, which we always end up making a load of time back, which we don't need. Uh, one thing, however, that I will point out as well is uh, it has redone the bus stop cubes down this route. And then if you're not quite sure what that means, what that means is that you should have more passengers at bus stops like this where you didn't used to get anybody getting on. Passengers should get on now. Uh, I know that most of the trips I've done on this game don't tend to get that many on, uh, on West Country getting on in between the towns. In fact, most of the videos you've seen me do, we had a pretty uh, quiet run between the towns, but not anymore. There we go. Brilliant. Full steam ahead. Oh, it's chronically slow, this thing. I love it. Next stop, the San Martin. Oh, yeah, the San Martin as well. That's a pub just before you turn right to go up to uh, either Berry Pomeroy or Thornford Regis. I think it's Berry Pomeroy. Uh, that should now have some bus stop stands or bus stop sticks by it. That was another thing that was pointed out to me. Ah, uh, there you go. You can see the bus stop sticks. And there's a lady waiting. I can't remember if we've ever picked up a lady, or indeed a man, from the San Martin. There we go. Can we kneel? Oh no, that would be the uh, that would be the air conditioning. There we go. We've we've knelt the bus way after she's got on. Never mind. It was the thought that counts. Better late than never. Right, so we're going to turn right down here towards... I'm going to go with Berry Pomeroy. I think it's Berry Pomeroy. Next stop, Village Square. Here we go. Yeah, it's Berry Pomeroy. Thornford Regis is, of course, the next one. But you knew that. And I knew that. We all knew that. We were just testing. Get that mouse off the screen. Come on. I've got my foot flat to the floor. Nothing's happening. Oh, it is slow, isn't it? This must be the uh, the first Kerno spec, spick, spec, even the first Kerno spec, which is chronically slow. Uh, they seem to. I seem to remember when we went on the Tinner. Uh, we went on one of these, a WK66 branded maybe, or was it even newer than that? I can't remember. But one of the Tinner buses, the Enviro 400 MMCs just didn't like hills, which was quite odd given it was down in Kerno, which, you know, if you've ever been to Cornwall, you'll know there's a few hills there. Right, here we go. Off we go. Mirror, mirror. Should really have checked mirrors before moving, of course, as was pointed out to me in the comments. But it doesn't really matter when you're not going to have a real-life crash, does it? You know, obviously, in real yes, life, so when driving vehicles like this mate. size, or indeed my car, I would check in my mirrors. But it doesn't really matter on Omsi. Because none of the traffic will overtake you, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. Oh, hang on. That's a bit, uh, a bit steep with the brake in there, isn't it? You see, this is another bus stop where I just don't seem to remember people getting on. But now there is, so that's good, isn't it? We used to go sailing past that bus stop. We are uh, we are a little bit early, aren't we? Really, thirty seconds. Next it's not the end of the world. Darvale Farm. Darvale Farm. Is this just after the Persia in distress? I think it might be. Or have we already been past the Persia in distress? I can never remember. I can always remember going the other way, like about when it's about to happen, or about when we're about to see it. Oh, we're going. We're off. Pedal to the metal.
He's absolutely not made the timetable slacker, has he? Because I don't seem to remember having to drive this slow. And we've stopped more often. What's happened there, then? There we go. I mean, we're in a national speed limit zone. We'll just set it about 40. I'm sure that there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe there's that many people that are getting on this bus, you know, that we don't normally see. Simply bit, hang on, why are we speeding up? We're not going down here, are we? We must be. Yeah, maybe there's that many people that we're picking up because the bus in front has blobbed. How many have we actually got on? Quite a few. Yeah, if I were a bus company, I'd be happy with that number of people. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather have the bus full and standing because then we're making more money, aren't we? Oh, hang on. Way. Oh, just check the ABS works. Hell. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do so we don't get it too early on the... Uh... There we go. Just skip the time ahead a little bit because otherwise you get it too early. I didn't realise we were quite so early otherwise I'd have skipped it while we were in transit. But I was too busy looking at Next our pretty stop, bus. The Barnes. The Barnes. Lovely. There we go, this is us. Coming off at the Texaco. Nobody getting off, nobody getting on, that's fine. And of course, because he's redone all the bus stop cubes, which if you don't know what that is, it's developer speak, Next you know. Uh, I kind of have experimented with making maps, so I know roughly what it means. But basically, the things that you place in OMSI to tell it that that is a bus stop. There you go, that's what a bus stop cube is. Because um, he's redone them so they actually work, I'm not worried about the fact there's nobody at that stop, because it's realistic. You know, there wouldn't be someone waiting at every stop. This is not the bus, or Bus Simulator 21, where you have to stop at every stop. This is a real-life simulation, and it's brilliant. Hell, engines nearly leapt through the bonnet, haven't it? How on earth have we ended up a minute early already? What is happening there? There we go, and break on. I just can't get over this livery, you know. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It kind of reminds me, it's a bit Dublin bus. Are you seeing that? A bit Dublin bus. The yellow and the blue. You ruined my shot there. Flipping heck. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it's a little bit Dublin bus with the, the pale yellow. It's not even a, a bright yellow, is it? It's more of a sandy yellow. Who'd have thought? Sand and sea. Mm. Do you know what it actually reminds me of? And I said I didn't know if this was uh, inspired off a real livery. Uh, hang on. We'll just stop and not run the child over. I think I might have hit that bus stop, but it's not the end of the world, is it? There we go. It could be uh, inspired by the ALX 400 uh, livery that they have on the Portland Bill. Is it the Portland Coaster? That's this kind of yellow and, and blue. Roughly. Yeah, okay, I see that. Maybe. Right, so now we are off down into town, of course. Wait, a little bit quick. Oh, my driving instructor had leapt through the window if I'd have done that. Oh, we'd have been cross. Gone round that corner too fast. I got accused of having a lead foot. Can you believe it? How do you mean you can? It's a bit rude. Right. We're off. I know there's a guy coming round the corner at speed, but... You know, we can't sit there all day in case there's someone coming round at speed, otherwise, you know, we'll just never move, will we? And there will be a... Yeah. Hang on, what's happened here, then? There's another one coming the other way. How's that happened? 
you reckon that because that tile's unloaded, it's respawned? Well, that can't be right, because I've only scripted four of these. Uh, no, three of them. Three of them, I'm lying to you. So there should be this one and two others yes. on the circuit. Oh, we passed right. two back there, and now we've passed another. So I don't quite know what's going on. But I reckon that because that bus didn't make it, it's like, because it's unloaded the tile, unloaded another one, and it's it's flown it down here, if you get what I mean. Do you get what I mean? I hope you do, because I know what I mean. Basically, Omzi has warped one of those buses into the correct position now. Hell, how many revs? Rev counter's nearly done a th full 360, hasn't it? Dear me. Go Yulberton Road. This is when you know you're starting to uh, come into suburban Totnes, isn't it? There we go. We'll, we'll pop the brake on. Skip forward a couple of minutes. There we go. Oh, we're we'll bang on time again. Nobody to come to this bus stop. Lovely. And away we go. Okay, yeah, I could sit and wait at the time, but I mean, you don't want to just sit there watching that, do you? You know, we we need to crack on and actually get some uh, get some driving done. Yes, That's what so you're here for. Nut hatch. Nut hatch way. So yeah, all in all... Oh, hang on, what's happened here? I don't remember that bit there. Something missing. This seems different. And there's a lot of, like... Yeah, like I feel like this row of trees should be here, but it's not. That's bizarre. These houses... Were they always like that? Maybe it's because I'm always looking forward. I don't know, I feel like something's missing. Oh my lord, someone's actually got on at Nut Hatch Way. Whoa. Hang on, this is different. There's absolutely something different about this. Every day at week. Or maybe there's not. Oh, I don't know. I'm panicking. I feel like I'm going mad. Is this different? It, it doesn't feel the same. But then again, I often drive the route in the other direction. I mean, look at my videos. Most of them are going in the other direction, aren't they? I feel like at this point we were going downhill and we don't seem to be now. Next stop, Hayton Royal Hospital. Maybe I'm just going round the bend. I mean, we knew it were all going to happen eventually, didn't we? But it's finally happened. Joe's just lost the plot. Absolutely lost the plot, I'm telling you now. Oh, it's nice just sitting listening to the purring of the engine, isn't it? Right, away we go. Yeah, you see, I'm still I'm still a believer that this is different. I know Iomex said to me he'd accidentally deleted the whole hospital and had to rebuild it rebuild it from scratch. Um so I don't know if the hospital area is different. Maybe that's why I feel like this is different, but I don't know to be honest with you, it doesn't look different, does it really? You know, if he has had to rebuild it from scratch, whoa, hang on, come on, break. People don't often get on and off here either, do they? So this is, you know, this is improved. There's a couple of little bugs that have appeared. Um, but again, this isn't a full release version yet, of course. So we do expect little bugs to appear. And of course, by doing this video and uh, and driving these routes, hopefully I c we can help him 
uh, identify these problems. And then when they do eventually get released to yourselves, uh, they'll be absolutely fantastic and there'll be no bugs indeed. No bugs indeed? No bugs at all, that's what I'm trying to say. 250, 60, thank you sir, cheers. 460, yeah. Right, full steam ahead. Off we go. Oh, hang on. Steering wheel nearly leapt out my hand there with false feedback. Hell, we're two minutes late. Next stop, St. Mary Roundabout. Right, so we've ended up, I don't know if maybe because of the editing of the routes that he's done. Maybe it's affected the timetable because we've ended up two minutes early quite a few times. And then at this point, we've got absolutely no time all of a sudden and we've not really changed at the speed of driving throughout the whole thing. So maybe by playing about with that, the uh, the trips and the timetable might just need a little bit of attention uh, in terms of just re-straightening it out, if you get what I mean. It's obviously, it's like an accordion, isn't it? Not an accordion, that's not what I'm thinking of. Like, it's... It's stretched in some areas and bunched up in other areas. You know, like if you get some curtains and just kind of half close them. Yeah, it's kind of a bit scrunched up and then a bit not scrunched up. You get what I'm saying. Maybe the curtains are not the best analogy. Uh, 5, 7, 8, 20, 40. Lovely, thank you. Other return, £4.65, 20, 40. That's absolutely lovely, thank you. Full steam ahead. Right, off we go. Down into town. Oh, we're so late. I don't like being late. Next stop, Totnes Road. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted, I tell you. I like to be punctual. You know, as you'll know from my videos. The only game I like being late on is Bus Simulator 21. And I mean, that's because it's Bus Simulator 21 and that is a special, special game. That just does everything in its own. That doesn't work to rules, that just does its own thing, doesn't it? Hell! Oh, it's thrashy this thing, isn't it? Well, it's thrashy on braking. It's not normally the place you get thrash. Oh, I like that, that's good. Obviously you can tell that that is a wall. I mean, you can tell because it overlaps, <laughs> it overlaps the building, but uh, perhaps you're not meant to zoom in on that. But I like how from... heck! What's happening? They're taking off. Oh, they're floating. Oh, dearie me. It's like with Elder Seance and they're off. Yeah, perhaps that could just do with a little... Oh, no, the building's not in front of it. Ah, it's a building... Oh, yeah, it is. Right, okay. Yeah, it's a bit in front of it. Perhaps I'm being a bit picky there, but... Uh, yeah, I like that. Because, it, you know, out of the corner of your eye, that just looks like... It's far away, and it's better than not having it at all, because then all of a sudden the map just finishes. And that's not what you need. Because then it looks like this. And I know the map's not loaded in. There we go, it's loaded in now. But it'd just look like that all the time. Like, this is just the end of map. You know, so it's a nice... Little things like that are what really do make West Country for me. What I am liking as well, if you notice, this is normally dropping off, isn't it? Let's face it, we're near the end of the route. This is dropping off. There we go. Normally... Or before, you get an absolute ton of people getting on at this bus stop. And we're not going that far, really, are we? Whereas now, there was nobody there, it's just dropping off. Oh, I'm sorry, love, but I think you've missed your stop. Oh, well. Good news is, there's another one round the corner. Next stop, Torside Road. Another one there. I've not changed the Route 100 because I don't really care for the Route 100 really that much. So that's why we've not driven it in a long, long time. There we go. We're all good. We're all good. Right, so we're going up towards uh, the central area, as it's known. Oh, there's a stop request. It's 
So we better pull in and stop, haven't we? There we go. Nobody getting on, so that's good. Oh, start stops off again. Oh, I'm sorry, love, but we have committed to pulling out now. Why are people taking so long to get off the bus? They don't normally seem to take that long. Maybe it's just an MMC thing. Next stop, Disney Street. Well, it sounds funny from back here, doesn't it? A bit of a weird sound you don't get in the cab. I've never noticed that before. There we go. I reckon that's a decent stop. Oh, look at that. Right over the curb. That is a good stop indeed. Other than the fact the back end's poking out. But it is still in the bus stop, so we can we can cope with that. Right, we're actually going to... There we go, people are still coming down. Perhaps as a good bus driver, it is my job to check these screens. Just perhaps. Right, off we go. Careful not to hit the bus station with our rear end. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Next stop, Painter Memorial Crescent. Oh, there we go, look at that. Painter Memorial Crescent, where today's video is going to finish. I do hope that you have enjoyed this. Do, of course, let me know what you think. Oh, hang on, there we go, cross that off. Let me know in the comments what you think to this livery. Again, it's not currently publicly available to my knowledge, but I will try and remember to put a repaint link in the description as and when it does become available. Yeah, really, really nice. I like it. Do you like it? What do you think? Of course, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video today, please do show your love and appreciation by clicking the like button. That would always be appreciated. And do subscribe if you haven't already, because again, lots more exciting things to come. And I'd hate for you to miss them. So subscribe, click that notification bell. It would be very much appreciated. Other than that, as I say, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.